Okay, welcome everyone to this AutoCAD 2017 tutorial. This tutorial we're going to design a shed, so let's go ahead and get started. What I'd like you to do is open up AutoCAD, and when you do so, you're going to be greeted to an interface that looks like this. I'd like you to click the Start Drawing button, and that's going to take you to the AutoCAD interface. It looks very similar to other programs like Inventor and Revit. You have your tools up here, but we typically don't click on these tools. And we also have our drawing interface over here, or, or our workspace area. When we usually start a project, we want to make sure two things are happening. One is that we have our snap settings going. So if you click down here, go to Object Snap Settings, make sure that all of these are selected. And you can click the Select All button if you'd like, and they'd all be selected, and then click OK. And two, we need to make sure that Ortho Mode is on. What ortho mode does is when you draw in lines, like right now, if I was drawing in lines, they can come at any angle. But if I activate ortho mode and I draw in lines, they will only come in on 90 degrees, which is useful when you're trying to frame a building or design a foundation. It will make sure that you are you know, doing so with 90 degree angles. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're going to put down our foundation first, and this is going to be for a 16 foot by 12 foot shed. So we're going to type in REC for rectangle. So we use the keyboard a lot in this program, REC is for rectangle, press enter, and then we need to click on one point on the screen. So I'm going to left click there and move out a rectangle, and we're always given options, and your options might show up on the top or the bottom of your screen but we can specify this rectangle by area, dimension, or rotation. And in this case, we're gonna specify it by dimension. So if we press D on the keyboard, D, and then press enter, we can specify the length. And by default, AutoCAD is unitless, but we're gonna say 16 for 16 feet, enter. And then it asks us for the width, specify width of rectangle. So I'm gonna say 12, enter, and it generates that rectangle how we want it, but we still have to left click one more time because we can apply it however we'd like. So I'm going to click there, and now it's been applied. Now, controlling in AutoCAD are very similar to Inventor and Maya as well, or Inventor and Revit. Uh, you can zoom in and out. You can click in and hold the middle scroll wheel on the mouse to move the object. And if you hold down the shift key and click in the middle scroll wheel, you can rotate the screen. Okay, so it's very similar in those regards and the view cube is also great for helping you reset your view. So I'm looking back at this top again. Okay, now typically foundations will have a little bit of a lip in them so that it's being held or bound into the ground. So we're gonna add that little bit of a lip and what I'd like you to do is type in the command that's offset so OFF, enter, and we have to click on a point on the rectangle. Oops. So let me try that one more time. Press escape a few times if it uh, doesn't work, but OFF, enter. And OK, it's asking for me to specify the distance first. So in this case, I'm going to type in point three four, enter. And then it's asking me select object to offset. So I'm going to select this object. And now I can move up or down, and you can notice how it's offsetting it from that original rectangle. So I'm going to go above it, click there, and then press escape twice, and it should apply that lip to your foundation. Okay, uh, in terms of controlling an AutoCAD, it's very similar to Inventor, but it's also very different. If I asked you to select this, and you clicked and held the left click and dragged down here, you might notice that your selection tool is like all organic looking, like this. Um, it will still select it, but this is actually designed to select very specific things. Uh, if you wanted to grab certain uh, parts of a project, kind of, like you could do it with that tool. Instead, what you do is you left click, you move, and then you left click again, and that will select your object. If you're going from right to left, and you left click and select the object, and left click again it'll select the entire object but if you're going from left to right and you left click and you move over the object and you click on it again 
it won't actually select anything. Okay, so we've done that. Let's go ahead and add in our sill. Um, this, or not our, um, yeah, kind of the uh, bottom of the house, not the sill, the sole plate. Um, and this is going to be one for our joist system, kind of like where the where the frame is. That would be a good way of describing it. Um, that's kind of where the joists are. Okay, <laughs> uh, so we're going to need some, let's say, two by fours. And uh, I'd like you to draw in a rectangle. So REC for rectangle, enter. I'd like you to click on your screen. And we've done this kind of before. So type in D for dimension, enter. And let's not do 16 this time. Let's do, let's say eight for the length, enter. And for the width, if it's a two by four, um, we're just gonna say 0.34, because that's roughly, you know, four inches. So 0.34, enter, and we should be, or we should have one of those, and we're going to also do it in the other direction. Oh, shoot, I let it go. <laughs> REC, enter, um, click on a point, D for dimension, enter, and then an 8 by 0.34, and then one more enter to put it down, or a left click to put it down. Okay, and then I'm going to do it one more time, REC, enter, but I'm going to go in the other direction. So I'll just specify my first point here, and then I'll type in D for dimension. I'll start with the point three four, enter, and then I'll put an eight, enter, and then left click. Okay, so I got a few joists. We're gonna apply these to the sides over here. So I would like you to use the move tool. So M O V E for move, enter. I would like you to select one of the joists, enter. And then once you've done that, you're just going to click on one of the corners and you're going to move it to the other corner. Okay. And sometimes it's going to flicker like it is on my screen. But if you're looking and you're clicking on that other corner, it will move it into place. So over there, it's been moved into place. And let's go ahead and move the other one into place. Enter. I'm going to select this. Enter. And I'm going to go to that corner. Click there and go to this corner and click there. Okay, so that's been applied. Now at this point, I'm going to kind of click on one of the joists and you see a series of three dots. And I'm just gonna grab one of those dots and stretch it to the end. So I'm gonna click once, move it over to the end and click again. Okay, so it's moved the joist, or not the joist, the uh, the part of the framework, the, the sole or the sill. Well, I'm, yeah, the bottom two by four member and it's going to apply it there and we're also going to do the same with this one so click there click on the center and then go to the bottom click there yeah okay so we have those bottom two now we just need one on the each of the opposite ends so we're going to use the copy tool c-o-p-y for copy enter i'm going to select this one first and hit enter and now you just need to specify a point on that object. So I'm going to click on this point because I want to copy it starting from there. And you're going to kind of see it's like the copy and move tool are one. So now I've grabbed it from that corner and I'm copying it and I'm moving it along that line. Let me zoom out over to this point over here. And then I'm clicking it and now it's been applied over to there. Okay. And then the last one, C-O-P-Y, copy, enter. Click on this, enter. And then I got to click on the corner where it's going to meet the wall. So I'm going to click there and I'm going to drag it over. Oh yeah. And it's very important to note that if ortho mode wasn't on right now, this would be much harder. Okay. And click there. Okay. So there we go. We have our frame in place. We have some um, wood studs in place or uh, wood pieces in place. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue this in the next video. So I guess I will see you guys then. Peace, guys.